Welcome to today's episode of Authentic Walk with God. I'm your host and brother, Peter Lemadin Don Wachuku. I'm happy to welcome you to today's topic, which is the race to heaven. Generally, the word race, which is the key word in this topic, has its dictionary meaning as a context of speed, as in running, driving, riding, or selling. But in the context of our discussion today, it means forward movement or an onward or regular course of action in life. It means making a constant and consistent journey with the sole intent of reaching the desired destination. To reach this desired destination, in this case heaven, a person must begin from the correct point of departure, Jesus Christ, in order to make it to heaven. This is the reason Jesus made it very clear in John chapter 14, verse 6, when he responded to Thomas's question in the previous verse, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In other words, Jesus was saying to Thomas, and now to all of us, no one who does not begin with me, Jesus, shall make it to heaven. The main Bible text for today's discussion is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. May I read? I have fought the good fight. I have finished the rest. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, with the Lord the righteous judge, will I award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. This is Apostle Paul's strong assertion and belief, arising from his authentic work with God. What about you? Can you today state with conviction that if the final trumpet sounds now, and Jesus returns to take his own to heaven, you will be one of those he will take? Let us now say a few things about the race to heaven. It is very important to note that this race begins with Jesus here on earth. It continues with Jesus and ends at his feet in heaven. It is an individual race and everyone is running on his or her own track. It is not a collective race involving your spouse, your entire family, your pastor or your church to which you must pay allegiance. Everyone in these relationship circles is running his or her own race. It is equally important for you to note that none of these significant persons in your life will be your rewarder at last. None of them has what it takes to reward you. Listen again to Paul's words in verse 8 of 2 Timothy chapter 4. I read, Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Therefore, do not kill yourself trying to please other people just for praise, affirmation, and material reward here on earth. Rather, genuinely please God always by your devotion and commitment to him. The heavenward relationship is strictly between you and God. 
He is the one who is most qualified to censor you and award either a passing or a failing mark. You may with your counterfeit religious performances deceive your pastor, your Sunday school teacher, your parents, and some other persons in your life who you are answerable to, here or not. But you cannot deceive God. Remember, God is everywhere at the same time. He knows every intent of a human being and he is an impartial judge. May I urge you, if you are a Christian, to continue with Jesus in this heavenly rest. Let him be your supreme model. Follow his footsteps. Focus on him always. Do not look sideways when he is leading the way. Do not allow any form of distraction, either from people or from circumstances. If you are a non-Christian, please permit me to introduce you to Jesus. He is the only one whom you can run with and make it to heaven. Simply bow your head in humility where you are now and genuinely say to him, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and completely possess me. Please allow me to walk with you until I see you face to face. God bless all of you, my listeners. Have a wonderful time in your daily walk with God this week. Until next week when we meet again on this same platform, it has been your friend and brother, Peter Nemadendon Wachuku, Director, Center for Family Life and Pastoral Care, Owere, Nigeria.